Hi, I'm Patrick Lightbody, co-founder of Reclaim, and I'm here to give you a demo of our platform. Let's dive in and start with priorities. We start with priorities because it's the central theme that cuts throughout our entire product. That is, every item that is on your calendar, we believe, should be prioritized. We think this is especially important in the modern knowledge workers world, where there are constant demands on their time to meet with customers, to meet with coworkers, to get work done, and of course, to juggle their complex personal lives, which is even more complicated by increased work from home. So what we've done with Reclaim is we've given our customers the power to do exactly that. What you can see here are different concepts, things like habits, which are recurring blocks of solo time, tasks, which are in independent blocks of solo time to get something specific done, as well as recurring meetings, one-off meetings, uh, both internal and external, um, and even every item on the calendar that isn't managed by Reclaim, all can go through a prioritization workflow. Um, and in this case, this is a, a, an interface where our customers can use a familiar Kanban style UI to dictate what is more or less important to them here. And so I can go ahead and drag sprint, sprint, uh, sprint planning over here, and it will automatically change my availability and my actual schedule on Google Calendar so that my coworkers are able to better work with me and understand my availability. Let's go a little bit deeper and look at habits. So what we have here are four habits that have been defined, and we're going to dive into probably the most well-known one, the one that almost all of you probably have on your calendar, and that's lunch. And the way Reclaim works is it's not just some black box AI that you can't fully understand, um, but instead it's, it's meant to really give our customers a lot of control and influence over the scheduling routines while still providing some delight and automation that they can rely on to keep them productive. So here what you can see is a pretty typical uh, way someone might think about lunch. They want to have it on all their work days. Typically uh, they, at 12 o'clock, you can see here, ideal time 12 o'clock. If they have to crunch it down to 15 minutes, I guess that's fine, but ideally they get a full hour. Then it could be sometime between 11.30 and two o'clock. What really matters is how it actually gets scheduled on the calendar. So let's go look at Google Calendar. We'll take a look at next week. And what you can see here is lunch is threading through the week. Uh, a couple things I wanna note. One, it is skipped on Wednesday because Reclaim smart enough to see there's already something that looks a lot like that. Uh, and that's the team lunch. It's squished down here on Friday. And the reason it's squished down is because I had a meeting that was pretty long, you know, unfortunate that someone booked that meeting, but Reclaim was smart enough to not only compact it down to fit into that schedule, but it also marked it as busy. And you can see that in the form of these stripes versus these busy filled in blocks. So these stripes here are marked intentionally as private and free. And what's great about that is that my coworkers, if they're trying to meet with me, they don't see those free events. And so they are welcome to go and schedule meetings with me and then Reclaim will automatically adapt. Let me show you how that works. So here I declined a meeting and maybe I'm gonna regret that. And I'm gonna say, actually, no, I think I can make that. Watch what happens here when I go ahead and accept it. There, you can see that in just a few seconds, the AI assistant reacted to that change in my agenda. It realized that my day was really getting crunched. And so in addition to a little post-meeting buffer that Reclaim schedules, it squeezed that 15 minute lunch in so that no one else blocks time between that meeting, that coffee chat, and this quick sync that I decided I'm gonna do. So this is a really powerful feature that helps build trust with Reclaim. And we've got a ton of users using it, but let's dive into some more interesting concepts now. I want to show you tasks, which is another quick place where people can um, protect their time very easily with low effort and have Reclaim have their back. Uh, and instead of showing you our native task integration, we're big believers, as you just saw with Google Calendar, that we should meet the customer where they already are. And so as such, we've spent a lot of time investing in integrations. Let me show you that. Right here, you can see that we support Jira, Asana, ClickUp, Linear, Todoist, uh, Slack, Google Tasks, Raycast. These are all places where people can very quickly give Reclaim information about one-off things that they want to do. Let's look at Jira. So what we've got here is a task that's going to take two hours called onboarding analytics. Someone needs to go and stand up the analytics for the onboarding system. 
I'm going to decide that it belongs to me. So I'm going to go ahead and assign this to me. And what we will see is in just a moment, it will appear. Oh, there it is. It's already brought into Reclaim. And furthermore, we're going to see it schedule on the calendar in just one more second here. And there it goes. So what we can see is that it was able to find time today in two different blocks. So let's go into Reclaim's Planner, which is another great calendar interface that can be used to do this. And it's saying, hey, go ahead and you can spend just a little over an hour on it after your sprint planning, get a little catch up on some other activities, and then try to finish the work before you go off to your date night. Um, by the way, we also do things like sync with personal calendars. So you can see here that actually that date night um, is showing up as personal commitment, not date night to your coworkers. So it's a way to protect your privacy while still also letting you see what your whole agenda looks like in this planner. Great, so tasks, a wonderful feature. And what's really cool is that they also show your coworkers, if they click in to uh, these other areas, like say Jira, they can see the, um, a little bit of context about what's going on with this task. So here you can see that it's already indicated to all of my coworkers, if they click on that reclaim button, that it is scheduled for later in the day as well. We'll even highlight things like it's at risk of being overdue, or that it's understood to be overdue. So it's a really great way for people to get a glimpse into the demands on your time. Okay, now that we've got a good sense of tasks, uh, actually, before we move on from tasks, the other thing I should highlight is that tasks, just like habits, have this capability of being free or busy, depending on um, the, the uh, demands on your time and your overall schedule. So in this case, these tasks are automatically showing up as free, and again, if anyone was trying to meet with me, they would see that I, they could book time in my whole afternoon and Reclaim would still push things backwards, but it wouldn't push them back forever. That task was due early next week. And so as it gets pushed back further, if that were to happen, it would automatically defend to turn busy and help reduce my availability for other meetings that would inc and increase my chance of getting that work done. Okay, now let's go ahead and look at some other capabilities. Let's talk about meetings and we'll start with our recurring meetings because they're a lot like habits so we're already familiar with a lot of the concepts so what we can see here is that i've got four smart habits set up they're all one-on-ones we'll just dive into one of these so this one right here follows a very similar pattern to what you saw with habits the only difference is you can now intersect uh multiple people and this doesn't work this isn't just for one-on-ones we can go ahead and schedule multi-person meetings we indicate, for example, if Reclaim has, avail has visibility into their calendar or not. And as you change the customization, you know, the, as you customize the times that you can meet, you can see a visual representation of when Reclaim would try to look for those times. Um, again, you can indicate that this meeting is flexible in nature, when ideally I'd like to have it happen, um, and most importantly, what the priority is. And so what's really great about that is that I can automatically know that Reclaim is going to reschedule and adapt to my changing agenda. So let me give you an example where I might decide, you know what, next week I'm going to be out of office. Um, I'm, going to, I'm going to Disneyland. And so uh, I'll go ahead and put a decline right there next week and watch this as Reclaim dynamically reschedules it. Oh, by the way, and also uh, we do color coding. So you just witnessed that in real time. Uh, that light pinkish color is per personal time, just like you can see with lunch. And we detected that using AI and automatically converted and color coded the item. So what we'll see here is in a moment of all the reclaim scheduled things are going to start to move automatically. And there they go. So uh, if the, the great thing to see here is that this is doing the work that people normally have to toil through when they're playing calendar Tetris dealing with different vacations, dealing with time zone adjustments. Reclaim takes care of that with smart meetings. So all of those one-on-ones that I had scheduled have been rescheduled now to be on different days than next week. And what's really great is we can even go in and see um, uh, what happened to those things. So we can actually see those change logs automatically so this also, in addition to the speed at which Reclaim adapts to the calendar, it also helps build trust so that people can better understand why these things get moved the way they get moved. Uh, it's a very popular feature and it's one of our biggest growth drivers at Reclaim. One last thing I wanna show you is how Reclaim also synchronizes with the calendar in a two-way model. And so let me go ahead to, um, to this particular one-on-one. -on -one. 
and I'm going to say, um, I'm going to change the title of this meeting. I'm going to say for this and following. And what's going to happen here is that Reclaim will automatically uh, recognize that title change. Uh, and you can see it in our own settings as well. Um, so, oh, there it goes. Um, so this is a tremendously powerful tool as well because it helps present a familiar interface. These are normal recurring events, but Reclaim is, is supercharging them with all of these smart scheduling capabilities while still feeling familiar, safe, and predictable. Okay, let's go look at scheduling links to, take, to round out the meetings. And then I wanna show you one last thing, which is our Reclaim Assistant. All right, scheduling links are probably a pretty familiar feature. I'm guessing several of you use services just like this. And Reclaim has a lot of the same things that you've come to know about these scheduling links. Various forms of templates, multiple attendees. Uh, we do offer some really convenient interfaces that we don't see in a lot of offerings, like letting the attendee pick different durations. Um, uh, you can remove branding, you can add custom questions, you can change the redirect URL, you can, you can do all sorts of things, different locations, um, reminders. But the really great thing about, about scheduling links is the priority. Again, like I started, priorities are the central backbone of all of Reclaim. And so in this case, this is a critical uh, scheduling link. And what that means is that it is naturally going to show more availability than any sort of um, uh, lower priority scheduling link. So let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. This is a one hour high priority scheduling link. I'm going to go personalize a lower priority scheduling link, and I'm going to make sure that it's also an hour just so we can kind of get an apples to apples comparison. And I also wanted to show you some of the personalization capabilities that we've got. So this is a medium priority. Um, this integration, this workflow you're looking at also natively integrates into Gmail's mobile uh, application. It's the only scheduling link that can bring up this kind of interface right from Gmail's mobile app. Uh, and also, of course, Gmail native. We also have integrations into Raycast, so it's really easy to go ahead and pick time. So you don't just have to select links, um, but you can also pick uh, just copy links as well. So let's go ahead and look at both of these links. They're both one hour long durations. And what you can see is right off the bat, there's more availability that we're getting with the higher priority link. Let's go look at Wednesday, for example, next week as well. Um, see, Wednesday's not even available with this particular link, but the high priority one is offering up a couple of time slots. So it really gives you a sense of the power in how it invites in uh, more or less available availability even to your customers. And so, for example, high priority links are something I give our customers when I really urgently want to meet with them, and I don't want them to have an experience of clicking on a link and getting no results. Okay, there's a bunch of other features we have in Reclaim, things like automatic travel time, um, the calendar sync thing I briefly mentioned, buffer time after meetings, automated color coding. I'm going to skip all those today because I want to show you one more thing, and that is our Reclaim Assistant. And in order to do that, I'm going to walk you through a couple of scenarios. Let's start with something simple, like creating a task, getting just a little bit of time for an important activity. Let me go ahead and type something up here. All right, here I've just declared a need for time. I need to create a project Mastodon proposal. It's going to be a couple hours and it's due sometime next week. So let's go ahead and submit that and see how Reclaim's AI Assistant automatically responds and parses different statements and intents around uh, time demands. So here you can see it recognized that that's a task creation. It's automatically running our scheduler. It's persisting these changes to the calendar, and it's going to show me where that particular item landed on my calendar. Actually, I can see it already down on the bottom right hand over here, create Project Mastodon. So we can see it scheduled this work for Monday at 10.15. So that's fantastic. And what's great is it, I can see that it's not going to miss its due date. Okay, now let's imagine there's a bit of a change of plan. I've got three kids. This is not an uncommon situation. Uh-oh. My daughter is sick. All right, I'm now telling the assistant, change of plans, I can't work today. I gotta deal with my daughter, she's sick, and I gotta take the day off. So what you'll see here is, again, the, the LLM model behind here has been uniquely trained to deal with these different kinds of scenarios that are very common and come up in, in, in um, knowledge workers' lives. 
And if you noticed it right in the background, a big busy block just appeared on the calendar. And we're going to see all sorts of rescheduling activities that respond to that change in plans. There it is. I have taken care of my daughter. I'm now off for the day. And you can see all those tasks and habits that were on the calendar just got pushed off. Okay, let's do one last thing with the assistant. And that is, let's ask it to find us some time to, uh, for an actual meeting. And what's really great about this is that Reclaim's automatically categorizing and prioritizing all the events on your calendar using LLM models and other AI techniques. And so it can be aware of things contextually in ways that typical calendar platforms aren't. So let me demonstrate how this works. All right, here I've expressed an urgent need. I need to meet with Daniel on Tuesday to discuss that same project. And I'm giving Reclaim permission to book over anything except for my customer calls. Let's see what happens. So first, it's figuring out who's Daniel, because I was pretty vague about that. So it's looking at my address book, all of my coworkers, even my um, calendar itself to understand what, um, uh, uh, what, who I've been meeting with recently, because there's some, some concepts there. And here we go. It found some time and noticed 2.45 and 3 o'clock next week. Uh, now look at this. I had some time blocked out tentatively, but clearly this demand is a little more urgent, but it dare not propose that these customer calls get, get booked. So that's meeting the need. And I can go ahead and say, cool, 3 o'clock works great. And that is pretty much Reclaim. I hope you enjoyed the demo. We'd love to hear what your reactions are and your thoughts. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.